If you are looking for a place to store your cryptocurrency, well, you came to the right place because in this video right here, we're gonna be talking about my Ether wallet, which is an OG wallet platform to store your Ethereum or ERC20 tokens so we can hodl it and get rich. Keep watching. What's going on everybody? Alex back with another cryptocurrency video and today we're gonna to be talking about my Ether wallet. I'm gonna be giving you guys a full, complete, comprehensive guide to my Ether wallet, okay? I don't even have one right now. I'm gonna set it up in front of you so you guys can follow along and make sure you don't make any mistakes like what? Losing your private key, like what? Sending it to the wrong address and losing your funds, right? Cryptocurrency is completely managed by you. You are the custodian, you are the banker. Don't do this the wrong way. My Ether wallet is a very good alternative wallet that's free, by the way, 100% free. They have a phone application, they have a desktop wallet, and you can do various things like sign signatures, receive different types of ERC20 tokens, and I've been using it for a long time. Well, back in the day at least when you know there was EOS and you had to sign signatures to receive, you know, participate in their ICO and receive the cryptocurrency, all these different cool smart contracts and everything like that. I use my Ether wallet. Now it's a little bit different. So this is a 2020 guide. But before we get started, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the best cryptocurrency channel on YouTube, what are you doing? Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button as well as the push notification bell so you get videos like this all the time, okay? I partic... I partic... Our particular DAC. Rather Dick Scavern, I particularly talk about cryptocurrency, okay guys? So you're gonna get all the news, you're gonna get all the price predictions, how to make money, but this is not financial advice, so don't take it as so. Hopefully, you've done your research. Two announcements that I wanna talk about before I get into the video. Number one, if you haven't joined my free private group, well, what are you doing? Join my private group. We talk about everything cryptocurrency. Multiple people in there are solving problems that most likely you've paid for in the past. Um, and I'm in there answering questions. It's not advice, obviously, but I'm answering questions. Follow the group. Also, number two, guys, if you're not confident enough to create your own wallet, if you're not confident enough to send cryptocurrency across, what, Internet 3.0, the blockchain, well, I recommend a product that I have created myself, yours truly, called Blockchain Basics. The link is going to be in the description below. It talks about how to send, receive, buy, sell, and store your cryptocurrency the proper way. Again, if you are not confident enough to do this, I highly, highly recommend it. Okay, let's jump into the video. So why do we use wallets like my Ether wallet? Why don't we just leave the money on the exchange? Well, exchanges are not always the safest place to keep your money, yeah. You could switch Bitcoin to different altcoins and hodl them. You could participate in ICOs when they drop on the exchange. But to actually hold your money on exchange is to not actually own your coins. Yes, you own your coins when you have access to the private key. Why? Because cryptocurrency is not necessarily in the wallet. Let me explain further. Cryptocurrency is technically on the blockchain, all cryptocurrency. And the private key gives you access to those cryptos. So when you type in your little password to the exchange and exchange your cryptocurrency, well, you don't have your private keys. You only have it in my Ether wallet. So it comes with you know, the risk of you being, you know, losing it, and that's why you have people like me helping you out so you don't lose your cryptocurrency, okay? So it's very important that you put your money on a non-centralized exchange, just a wallet. One quick thing I wanna talk about before we get started, Mt. Gox. If you don't know what Mt. Gox is, it's a Bitcoin exchange based in Tokyo, Japan, launched in July 2010. By 2013 and 2014, it was heading over 70% of all Bitcoins. So it was one of the original exchange. And this is why we don't leave money on exchanges because in February 2014, Mt. Gox suspended trading. They closed their website and the exchange service and filed for bankruptcy protection from creditors, okay? They basically took everybody's money the company began liquidation proceedings and they announced that 850,000 Bitcoins belonging to customers in the company were likely missing or likely stolen. That's $450 million at the time. Let's do the quick calculations and see exactly how much that is now, right? 850,000 times what? What is Bitcoin worth? Around 9,000? 
oh, it doesn't even give me a proper number. That's probably in the billions, guys. Um, they stole billions of dollars worth of cryptocurrency. Stole, I say that because there's a lot of controversy behind it. Don't let them have access to your cryptocurrency. Own your private keys, okay? So that's why we're gonna jump into my Ether wallet. So like I said, I don't actually have the wallet on my phone. I'm gonna be walking step by step through the whole entire process. All right, so let's jump into the website. First thing you guys wanna do is go to myetherwallet.com. Make sure you don't go to some weird myetherwallet alternative scammy website that's gonna steal your cryptocurrency. Guys, here's a little gem for you. I've been seeing these weird videos on YouTube where they basically create a fake YouTube account with a whole bunch of fake subscribers, but they'll use the name of like, you know, for example, Litecoin or Ethereum, and then they'll put a real stream, an old version of the stream, of the CEO of the company, and they'll be talking in the stream, and then they claim to be giving away the cryptocurrency, but they require you to send them funds. This is not real. All these weird websites, if you have to send money to receive more, it is fake. If somebody's doing a giveaway, the only way it's a real giveaway is if they actually send you the money without you having to send them anything. That's a real giveaway. When they're asking you for money, that means they're not gonna send you anything in return. YouTube's gonna ban the page and they're gonna be basically wiped off and they're using VPNs, they're using ways to hack the system. Don't let them hack your cryptocurrency, okay guys? Don't, if anything is too good to be true, do not trust it. So let's go to the website. First thing you wanna do is create a wallet. But before we get into it, my Ether wallet is a free client side interface hoping to interact with Ethereum blockchain. Our easy to use open source platform allows you to generate wallets, interact with smart contracts, and so much more. Yes, they are like the OG. They're like the first Ethereum wallet. About Mew, my Ether wallet, please call us Mew, puts Ethereum blockchain at your fingertips. We are a team of crypto enthusiasts dedicated to bringing you the most secure, intuitive, and dare we say the prettiest way to manage your Ethereum and ERC20 tokens. We're always here to help and we're never giving away ETH. See, we're never giving away ETH. Like I told you, the giveaways are all fake, man. So the first thing we wanna do here is create a new wallet, okay? So you click to create a new wallet on the top right or uh, the big blue button and then you're gonna click scan to download, okay? You can scan it here with an iOS or Android phone with the QR code to make it easy, or you could go to the App Store, search in MEW Connect, and then download it. Once you download the application, you guys are gonna follow me step by step so I can walk you through the process. First thing you're gonna do, let me just turn on my screen recorder really quickly. So the first thing you're gonna do is create a wallet, okay? You're gonna pick a password. I don't care what you guys see because I am not gonna use this. So I'm just gonna do pass. Okay, do pass again. Make sure the password is a little bit more elaborate than what I used. Generating your Ethereum address. Okay, it's creating, encrypting your private keys using your password. Saving your encrypted keys to a local storage vault on this device. All done. Okay, start using the wallet. Now, a couple things you might notice. First thing at the top right, you could buy Ethereum on this wallet. Okay, you could definitely do that with a credit card. Okay. Um, it's the same price as any other place, so you can do it there directly if you want to. Another thing you might notice is the public Ethereum address. This is the address that you use to receive cryptocurrency. If you want to have people donate to you, if you want to you know, send it to your friend and say, hey, send me one Ethereum if he owes you money or something like that, this is what you send. Quick little tip, guys, do not try to call it out. Don't be like, hey, man, send it to 0x0b36. No, just copy it and email it or text it to them. If you get it wrong, there could be problems. You are the own custodian to this wallet, right? Guys, keep in mind, when you're making this wallet, it is not a centralized exchange. I've told you guys that multiple times, meaning you have to be very responsible with making sure you don't make any mistakes. Copy that, send it to them. They're gonna take the address, put it in theirs, and then send you whatever amount of money you guys agreed upon or whatever. So as you can see here, the big yellow box, that says action required. All we have to do is click backup. Okay, so this is where we're gonna be getting our private keys. Remember before I told you the exchange owns your private keys? This makes it so that you own yours and you actually have rights over them, meaning there's no customer service line that you can call. Again, if you're not confident in doing any of this, if you have thousands of dollars in cryptocurrency, and you're not confident sending it from one wallet to the other, I have a course for that. It's called Blockchain Basics. Go ahead and click the link below, but let's jump into it. We're gonna click backup now. Now prepare to write it down. Now this will be a little rant for you guys. Make sure you physically write down your private keys or the phrase. Why? Because if you have it on your computer or your phone, Mr. Smart Investors out there, the guys are experts and know what I'm talking about. Hopefully you don't have it on your computer because if you do, somebody can hack it, somebody can hack it and take it. Or worse, you can literally, your hard drive can fail 
and then you don't have it anymore. Make sure you write it down. And if you want, write it down multiple times so you can have different versions of it just in case your house burns down and it's in your backyard. But just make sure you write it down. Don't come back here like, oh, I lost my cryptocurrency because I'm gonna be like, tough luck. All right, guys, make sure you write it down. Let me take it. Make sure to write it down, all right? I can't stress this enough, okay? I'm not gonna write it down because I really don't care about this wallet. I'll create a new one later. But this is what it looks like. It says it right there, write it down. Here's your recovery phrase, okay? So what I'm gonna do just really quickly so I could, for the purposes of this video, is I'm just gonna take a, a picture of it with my laptop so that um, I can just kind of, they're gonna ask you to verify it, but I don't care about this. So they're gonna ask me to verify this. So I'm gonna simply click next and look, let's double check it. Select word number nine. So I'm gonna to go to my picture. You guys hopefully wrote it down and triple double checked it. Do whatever you have to do, right? I'm gonna to go to word number nine. It says tied, so I click tied. Okay, go to word number 11, male. Go to word number 18, uh, it's kite, 21, visa. Okay, that basically verifies that you have the correct private key and that you don't lose all your funds. Okay, I'm press done. All right, so we have the private keys, we have the public address, you can buy Ethereum here, that's cool and all, but I wanna show you guys the desktop wallet. So the first thing you wanna do is go back to myetherwallet.com and then we're gonna click um, we're gonna go to the home page. We're gonna click access my wallet. So here we basically I know it doesn't work So I'm not gonna jump into it, but all you have to do is click MEW connect I know it's been having trouble I've heard, read multiple forms where when you scan it, it doesn't access it So in this case, I'm gonna just show you guys a way to recover it So just in case you lose your phone, right? You don't have your wallet anymore I'm gonna show you guys how to recover it with the private key So all you need is that little piece of paper all you need is that little piece of paper and you can get access to your fund. All you have to do is click software, okay? And we're gonna recover this right now because the, the function is not working on the website. So we're gonna click the phrase right here, the middle one, and you just simply type it in. So I'm gonna go type it in right now and this is how you recover it. If it says 12 value right there, you just click 24 because that's the one we got, we got a 24 value. You just sit there and you type it all in. It's gonna take me to the desktop wallet and then I'm gonna complete up the tutorial. All right guys, so this is what the desktop wallet looks like. Okay, so we're gonna be basically playing around with uh, the actual address here, which I'm gonna send some Ethereum right now just so that we can use it for transaction fees. Yes, if you are sending you know, ERC20 tokens or basically other alternate tokens used on the blockchain of Ethereum, then you're gonna need some ETH to use it as for transaction fees basically. So I wanna send a little bit. I'm just gonna copy the address here like I told you guys to do and then I'm gonna to go to my Exodus wallet here and send some chain link over. Guys, if you don't have Exodus, I have a full tutorial on that too. I use it, love the wallet, love the interface. This is a desktop wallet and I use it kind of for my small transactions. And then I have cold storage that holds 90% of my cryptocurrency. This is basically for uh, the crypto that's kind of, you know, I'm kind of deciding if I want to hold it or not. So I'm going to send some chain, uh, sorry, I'm sending Ethereum. So I'm going to go to Ethereum here. I'm going to send about like, what, 10 bucks. So let's send like $10 worth of uh, 10 ETH. Let's send uh, $10 worth of Ethereum send to that address all right boom simple as that okay so we're gonna wait for it to go into this wallet and once it does then we're gonna actually get some basic attention token to here so i can show you guys how to basically add these erc20 tokens to the dashboard so you can have access to all of them okay so now you see the balance is actually officially here went through the blockchain and everything like that now to add basic attention token to the mew wallet okay so just to give you guys a, just a quick explanation this has an ethereum address but if you want to get erc20 tokens you technically have to add them their blockchain to your wallet so the way you do that is you go to etherscan.io if you don't know what etherscan is it's basically a blockchain explorer it explores the blockchains like a search that you could like kind of find every single transaction that's ever been made right this is the point of cryptocurrency in general is that everything's kind of transparent um, and there's a lot of different use cases for uh, the block explorer but i'm just basically going to show you exactly how to add your token to your wallet so you come over here to erc20 tokens you can go to top tokens whatever we're basically looking for basic attention token so i'm just going to search bat okay basic attention token you're going to click whatever token you have all right this works the same way for every single one of them and then there's basically something that you have to look for three things you have to look for the contract we're going to copy that contract address. We're going to come over to my ether. We're going to click add custom tokens. Okay. 
So this is where the contract address goes in, just to go over one more time with you guys. You're gonna come over here, okay? Go to tokens, ERC20, top tokens, or view, whatever, either one. You're gonna look for your token, copy the contract address, come over here, put the contract address in there just to verify I have the right one. I'm just gonna paste it again. Then we're gonna look for the token symbol. I know right here, you can see at the top, it's BAT. But if you don't know, then it's gonna be right here, token BAT BAT. Okay, copy that or just type it in, whatever. And then we're looking for the decimals, which right here says 18 decimals. We're gonna copy that, put the decimals in there, and then you're gonna save it, okay? All right, so it basically says a default or custom token with this contract address already exists because basic attention token is pretty popular. But this is for if you have to add a token, just kind of just show you guys that's exactly what you would do. Okay, now let me send a transaction. Okay, so to send a transaction, I just sent a quick transaction because I know a lot of people get confused about this part. Okay, the address that you have here is the same address that you're gonna use for every ERC20 token. So to send, let's say for example, basic attention token to this address, I'm simply gonna take that same public address that we've been looking at the whole time. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna to go to whatever wallet I have the basic attention token. Let's say for example here, I'm gonna send some. So I'm gonna send like what, two bat really quickly. It's like 50 cents, 44 cents, whatever. Um, and I'm gonna put that same address, the public address is the same for all of the tokens. As long as it's ERC20, it's the same. And then you're gonna paste that in there. I'm gonna send it on over and then I should receive it, okay? And just to show you how to get it off of MEW, so as you can see here, I have the 2.2. This is from the previous transaction that I used to kind of test it for this tutorial. Um, you guys didn't see me do it, but you should see like four pop up here soon. But just to show, okay. So basically, let me just re-get into my file here. Okay. Okay, so basically if you, re I guess if you refresh, you gotta get back in. So I'm back in here. Um, it should show that I have the, two extra coming in pretty soon. But let me just get some out of here just to show you. So if I wanted to send it, then it's gonna be to, we're gonna take a basic attention address, right? Amount, we're gonna send one to show you. It's gonna be two address and we're gonna to come to here. We're gonna receive, so wherever you wanna send the basic attention to, copy that, come back over here, and we're gonna paste that in there and we're gonna send one more back to my Exodus wallet. Confirm or send, okay. Again, guys, if you don't have you know, an Exodus wallet, you don't know how to use it, I have a full complete tutorial on that on my YouTube channel, just feel free to check that out. So that's how you add a token to the actual um, MEW wallet. Um, if it's not popular, then you'll have to add it physically manually like the, I just showed you in this exact same way. Um, there's other features, guys. You can send it offline, there's an offline wallet. Um, there's decentralized applications that you can play with if you wanted to, like MakerDAO is one of the most popular um, you can sign contracts right here, uh, smart contracts and everything like that with this wallet. Um, I guess you can message people too. I mean, this is all new features that I haven't seen before. You could also swap. So if you have Ethereum here, I could turn it into Bitcoin if I wanted to um, automatically with this. So I guess it kind of plays the role of an exchange, but it's not an exchange because you actually own your private keys. Um, and they basically have all these different developer features that if you're watching this video, chances are you're not gonna use anyways. Um, so that's really it for this tutorial, guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with this technology, you will get left behind. Guys, again, if you have any questions, leave a comment below or join my private group. I'll leave the link in the description. Catch you guys in the next video.